Jill and I have been dear friends for longer than I can remember. And we've brought our children up together and that was really one of the most special things. She used to go play out outside with us, uh, teach us to ride bikes. She was my soccer coach one year. We went on vacations together. Uh, it was a good upbringing. Skiing, swimming, soccer. Jill loved soccer. So she did all those things. And that was all taken away from her. She was diagnosed with MS within days of hope being born. She told us about it and it was basically kind of, you know, don't worry about it, I'll be fine. I think that Jill thought in her mind, and that's probably what kept her going, was that, well, this isn't going to last. They're going to cure this. I'm going to be cured. MS is, uh, it stands for multiple sclerosis. And literally, sclerosis means scars. And as a result of this disease, they're left with multiple scars in the brain and spinal cord, and hence the name multiple sclerosis. You're not able to send impulses or information from one part of the brain to the rest of the body. Most of these patients, after about five to 20 years, they're slowly progressing in terms of their walking difficulties, cognition, and a variety of other symptoms. Canada has one of the highest prevalences in the world. And uh, in Canada, uh, we're up there. So Nova Scotia has got um, a fairly high prevalence rate. We have about 3,000 patients. Jill's disease started to progress. First, she started to limp fell down a lot, she got a cane, um, then she eventually moved into a walker. I remember her using like us as canes and just sort of leaning on our shoulders and things. When you start losing it out on, you know, it's walking, then it's standing, then it gets to a point where it's, it's scary, it's, it's debilitating. It's so close to home. And I, I'm always struck, struck with the thought that, how could this have happened? We don't know the exact cause of MS, and which is why we don't have a cure. The purpose of research is to better understand this disease. We have a number of neuroscientists at Dalhousie University with the basic science know-how, a population-based clinic and database, and we have the three Tesla MRI scanner. And what we should do going forward is to get an MSologist. So this would be a neurologist with special training and expertise in the world of MS research to be right in the center so that they can then uh, collaborate and bring the entire research community together. So this is where our fund comes into play and it is called Jillian's Hope. Anybody can donate through the Dalhousie Medical Research Foundation. And this money will go towards the paid position as a full-time position for this MSologist. This money raised here in Nova Scotia will be used for research within Nova Scotia. And that's a, that's a big bonus. She's never let MS hold her back from being loving, caring, thoughtful. Mom's done a great job of finding reasons to laugh and having fun. She's got a huge heart. She's very hopeful and very strong, and uh, it would be nice if I turned out half the woman mom is. Hopefully families in the future can have a brighter outcome. The ultimate goal is to cure MS, so if we can find the cause, that should lead to the cure. I hope that people will donate to Jillian's hope, for her hope, for our hope, for Nova Scotia's hope, and for the research that we're doing here. It'd be a wonderful feeling to know that you uh, gave to such a good cause. <laughs>